Today I'm going to be showing you how to repair our biggie printer. What, what happens if your thermo thermocoupling goes out? This is the component that makes your extruder hot. So if you're no longer getting heat, your plastic is extruding right, this is your problem. All you're going to need is a 2 millimeter hex wrench and some patience. Okay, we're going to be replacing the thermocoupling. This is what heats your extruder and causes the plastic to melt. First thing to do, make sure your printer is unplugged from the power. Electric shock is bad. If you need more room to get to your extruder to undo the thermal coupling, just move your axis by spinning it counterclockwise while it's off. We're going to use our 2 millimeter hex wrench to undo the screws underneath the heating block to release the old and bad thermal coupling. Okay, we now have our new thermal coupling wired through the wire harness. Now we have to plug it in, then we're mounted into the heating block. I already undid the bottom of our Biggie slash A950 block printer. Now that we have it unplugged, this is the uh, motherboard. It's pretty easy to plug in the new thermal coupling. The cables aren't polar sensitive. So all we have to simply do is plug them into these keys right here and tighten it using a Phillip, I mean flathead screwdriver. Okay, we're finishing up installing our new thermal coupling cable. As you see this was a tight, so we always want to make the do a pull test to make sure the cables are secured and they're nice and tight. If they aren't, well we're just have to go redo it in here. Printer won't be printing properly. Now that they're in there, we'll do the pull test, we're good. We're now that we have our cables plugged in for our new thermal coupling, before we put the bottom on, wire everything back and assemble it, let's test it. There's nothing's worse than going back and have to undo everything again. So I'm going to flip it around, just put it face down. I'm going to plug in our power supply, turn it off, and make sure it's reading the temperature. So let's go ahead and slide it into the hole. We're not going to tighten it yet. We'll do that at the very end. And you know what? It looks like it's working, so we're good to go ahead and put it on our bottom. But, okay, now that we know what's working, let's go ahead and put everything back together. First thing is first, just let's plug our fan in. I'm not free to get to that before we put the bottom in. Pretty simple, we're just going to slide it up, plug it into this little pin, and now we're ready to start screwing our printer back together. Which is fairly easy to do. Make sure you have a face on the right side. And use these pins and just screw it back together. Okay, the final step on replacing our thermocoupling is installing it into the heating block. So we're just going to slide into the pre cut roof. Using our 2 millimeter hex wrench, we're going to go ahead and tighten the set screw in the bottom until it's nice and tight and the thermocoupling is secure. Make sure our, all our extruder's heating block is nice and tight, there's no wiggle in it, and we're good to print. Thank you for watching this video with us. If you'd like to subscribe to more of our self-help videos or educational courses, be sure to check out www.imaginethat3d or 3deducational.com where we offer 3D printing courses, 3D printing self-help, and guides.